So, I'm supposed to be covering E3. Like, I don't know if I want to do a live stream on it or just do videos of breaking down gameplays that I'm actually interested about. The thing about it, though, right, is that yesterday it was the E3 EA press conference. And I was thinking about it. I was like, well, don't really care about Madden. Don't really care about NBA Live. Don't really care about, uh, what's that? Need for Speed. I forgot that game's name. I do care about Anthem, and I do care about uh, Battlefront 2, but it was no reason I didn't do a whole live press conference to just talk about those two games. So, I was just going to fall back on the first day. But while I was sleeping, apparently this Kingdom Hearts gameplay dropped. Now, this is not going to be my first time watching it. The only reason for that is, though, spam mails in the comment section is I made a video on it, but I realized the actual trailer wasn't being recorded. So it would have just been my face in a dark be black background just talking about the game when y'all couldn't really see the game. But, luckily for me, I can just break it down all over again. So that's what we're going to do. This Kingdom Heart 3 gameplay dropped, and we're going to break it down again. Peggy that's 12. Fine. So I'm already mad about Square Enix and Disney because of the fact that Kingdom Hearts should have been out a long time ago. But instead of putting out Kingdom Hearts 3, they just kept putting out remakes and remakes and Obviously, the Hercules version of the Keyblade. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know because maybe this is your first time seeing a Kingdom Hearts gameplay. As you go through the different stages, you go through di different Disney stages. You, some, you'll maybe you'll be in a Lilo and Stitch stage. Maybe you'll be in a Car stage. Maybe you'll be in Hercules, Lion King, um, any of the Disney. Like maybe you'll see Tron, Star Wars, and this one. Any of the Disney, uh, any of the Disney universes. And as you go through each Disney universe, you'll get a different Keyblade symbolizing those different universes with different stats. Now, this is a Hercules Keyblade, and it probably, like, you'll probably be able to, like, it'll probably make your Thunder magic moves stronger and things like that. But automatically, a transformation into a Hercules Thunder Shield. Which is very interesting because as far as I know in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, I didn't play any of the remakes or remakes. I played like uh, I played like the handheld games, but I didn't play like 2.84 and the other Kingdom Hearts like that. But I don't remember you actually be able to transform your Keyblade into a, like your Hercules Keyblade into like a Hercules shield. <laughs> It doesn't matter too too much, but you have a MP bar, you have your health bar, your MP is your magic bar, that's not like your mana, and then you have your, uh, you have a focus bar. I don't know exactly what the focus bar is used for yet. But it seems like he's a good amount into the story. Maybe like a third of the way done, halfway done. I'm not exactly sure because of the length of his health bar and the length of his MP bar. Um, Kingdom Hearts is a RPG game where you can raise your stats and things like that. So he has a. We're gonna be able to see in this trailer a good amount of abilities that uh that we'll be able to get later into the trailer. Now it seems like Skinny Surungaisa Tadashi Hito 
つだけ教えておくれこの世界に黒い箱はないかい黒い箱
ロクサスを復活させるということはソラお前は結局闇の力を使うのか So he's talking to Zayanar and the guy who I forgot what his name was I, I, I think it started with A on Kingdom Hearts 1 but he's talking to those two and they're talking about him bringing back Roxas for some reason this is more a story aspect I don't know why he would want to bring back Roxas and he says are you finally going to call upon the darkness I don't know I feel like that's them talking about uh, like a callback to when you try to transform you transform into Heartless in the old Kingdom Hearts I don't know why they would want to bring back Roxas though and I don't know why he'd have to do that I guess it's because when Roxas was created it's because Sora lost his heart and became a heartless, and Roxas is a nobody version of him. I don't exactly know though. But also, why every Kingdom Hearts game Sora gets longer shorts? Whatever. Uh, it looks like um, pretty good gameplay. I'm pretty. I'm not really excited for it or hyped for it. And then you have the silhouette of Sora with his humongous contraption. I don't know what that is. But it seems like they're going to show more about Kingdom Hearts and Disney's little expo thing. July 15th. Which a lot of companies are starting to do that. I feel like Nintendo was the first one to do that with their Nintendo Directs. And then uh, companies, it seems like companies are starting to follow that model of not really showing everything at E3. Like, E3 is more of a preview for things that they want to show, and then they show more of their stuff at their own press conferences. We'll see if that happens more often. But for the most part, I really enjoyed watching the、uh, Kingdom Heart gameplay trailer. We will see what more、e uh, Square Enix has in store for us. Hopefully, they show some Final Fantasy VII Remake gameplay. And. I'll probably also be dropping a video about Mass Effect.、Uh, not Mass Effect. But、uh, what is that? Mass Effect? What is that? Anthem. Anthem and,、uh, Anthem and Battlefront 2. I'll probably be dropping some gameplay breakdowns of those two games. I wasn't supposed to be doing many gameplay breakdowns, but this is E3 and I really want to talk about these games with people. I'll probably be doing live coverages of like the Sony press conference and the Microsoft press conference. And、um, yeah, hopefully you see a bunch of E3 press conference coverage from me in the next week.、Um, this is it for the video. I basically covered everything that I felt needed to be covered. While we were watching the video, so this is King Dub7 signing off. Peace.